The fans are ready, and it looks like the fighters are now ready. Alongside me, Johnny Nelson. You tried to give me the slip, didn't you, my friend? There was no way I was going to miss this. And now it's time for the tale of the tape. Introducing first... Here comes Riddick, Big Daddy Bo. Despite being six foot five inches tall, one of the best inside fighting heavyweights there's ever been. They have waited for this fight for so long, Todd. This is ridiculous. This bout is scheduled for 12 rounds of boxing. Fighting out of the red corner from Brooklyn, New York. Here is the Olympic silver medalist and the two-time unified heavyweight champion of the world. Introducing Big Daddy. The fans are ready and it looks like the fighters are now ready. All what's left. We're hoping for an all-action slugfest. Good defense to interrupt that combination. Nobody home with that hook. There is not a seat to be had in this arena, Johnny. It's got that big fight feel, doesn't it? You have some fighters that are big show, big arena fighters, and they bask in this, they love this, they are born for this. You have other fighters where this will be like the rabbit in the headlines. No rest for the weary. One punch could change everything in this battle. Halfway through the round, and I don't know who's got the advantage. Great stuff. Very close match. It shows the skill, the discipline, the respect both fighters have for each other, because no one dare do anything out of turn. This fighter told us yesterday, I don't get paid by the minute. I'm going to go in there and try and knock my opponent out as soon as possible. You've got to be very wary. If you're in with a slugger, they will fight all night for fun. They'll stay in your face. They are naturally tough and strong and aggressive. Every time they drop their guard, they get caught. Catching him up again. Very close round with 10 seconds to go. Let's talk about Bo in that last round. Well, this is the time that the trainer needs to come in and say something special. This fighter needs to turn the tables in this next round. Wow, it's like two different leagues. They ring the bell, and here we go. That corner has got to find a way to get some momentum behind their fighter. This is one of those situations. You've just been hurt. You've got to get out there again. Be smart. Be sharp. Don't be a fool. Don't get sucked it in. Make you fight your fight. Hold and tie him up just until your head clears again and your legs come back again. Because if you don't, he's going to pop you off. Score with that jam. The spider told us yesterday if he doesn't win by knockout, he doesn't consider it a real victory. That's the mentality he has. A win is not just a win for some fighters, they need to feel the blood, the crunch, the need to get that win. This has been a very competitive round as we reach the midway point. Which one of these athletes is going to be the first to get rocked? Skill for skill, tap for tap. Just like a match made in heaven. That counter shot lands. Big shots from both of these fighters. Got to be careful, though. Punch, 
a receipt is coming right back. This is the kind of fight you expect from two world-class elite middleweights. So much for boxing. This is a fist fight. This round's still up for grabs with just 10 seconds to go. And he wasn't ready for that counter punch. Let's talk about Bo in that last round. Well, there was... And there's the bell to start the round. After a really strong round, let's see if they can finish the job. Todd, my motto is... If it's not broken, why change it? An excellent last round. Everything works. Wait for the reaction. Until then, keep doing what you've just been doing because you've won that hands down. You're not going to see as much footwork as the smaller weight classes in the heavyweight division, but we don't care. We want the heavy fist. your hands go a little bit. It's okay to be aggressive now. Beautiful counter punch. Walk away from each other and then run right back into trouble. Well, Johnny, we're a couple rounds in. What are you seeing so far? The middleweights are the best you can ever come across. Obviously, the glamour weight is a heavyweight, but the middleweight is the size of the average man or woman. When you get in there and you're letting the shots go, you've got power, you've got speed, you've got pace. You can stand, you can dance, you can do everything. We can look back in history. You know the amazing fights with a middleweight are oh, ridiculous. That is what writes our history books. Halfway through the round, and it's pretty much even Steven. Perfectly matched. Skill for skill, tap for tap. Now this fight will say, you know what, I'm just that notch above you, and so I've got to respect both of them more than happy. He misses with that jab. Despite what the judges' scorecards read, there are no losers in this one. Perfect counter shot. Let's talk about Bo in that last round. The game plan does not seem to be working here. What's he have to do differently? Every second, every minute of this fight is in. We're hoping for an all action slugfest. Well, they got battered last round. How do they turn their fortunes around? They've had one minute to recover. Now they've got to bluff it. They've got to bluff it. They've got to come out now and style it out. Get on the back foot, jab, rest on the jab. Be smart and pop until your legs come back. Then put the pressure on. Looking to land the hook. This fighter has determined that they can walk through any punches that their opponent throws, and that's a very confident spot to be in. You've got a couple of big units here, so I'm expecting power. You're going to have excitement. You're going to have drama, because when these guys slow down, that's when the punches are going to land. Nice counter shot. When are we going to see a jab from these two? What a round so far as we've reached the halfway point. They're so close. Stumbling around on Bambi legs. Bambi legs are kicking in. Look at those legs. The legs are... And the big daddy hits the floor. The referee's counting him. Watching him close. Come on, make it. You can do it. Well, they're back up, Johnny, but now what do they do to get back into this fight? Got to look at his corner, look at his structure. They're telling him to calm down, make the most of the count, get up, breathe, and move. Get behind the referee, save yourself a bit of time. You just need to make your way back to the corner. Somehow, get to the end of the round. Nice counter punch right up the middle. So we enter the final 10 seconds here in a pretty dominant display. Talk about Bo in that last round. So it's planned. They ring the bell, and here we go. 
Just couldn't finish him off in the last round. Let's see what this has in store for us. What a knockdown. One minute, you need one hour to get over a shot like that. Now it's down to conditioning. Now it's down to mental strength and preparation. It's how you are going to deal with this. Oh, that punch. They both want the knockout. Punch, counter punch. As we enter the final frames of this bout, Johnny, what have we seen so far? Remember, with a lighter weight, you're expecting at least 300 shots around. They can let these shots go. They can move. They're fast. They're sharp. It's a hard night. Work for the referee. Back and forth they go in this round. The momentum continues to shift. It's all offense all the time. It's a very close match. It shows the skill, the discipline, the respect both fighters have for each other because no one dare do anything out of turn. Swinging a miss with that hook. Swinging big and missing big with that hook. So much for boxing. This is it. You know the scorecards are going to be all over the place in this one. Every time he throws a punch, a receipt is coming right back. Let's talk about Bo in that last round. Pretty dominant round there. And there's the bell to start the round. Coming off that fantastic last round. Let's see if he can keep his momentum going. Todd, my motto is, if it's not broken, why change it? An excellent last round, everything works. Wait for the reaction. Until then, keep doing what you've just been doing because you've won that hands down. Here we go with the lightweights. Get ready to see some blazing hand speed and fancy footwork. Middleweights always gives us a class. If you've got two class middleweight fighters, you're in for action. I'm quite sure right now, if you know your boxing, there's a certain fighter, Mr. Mr. I would just say marvelous, but some fighters were unbelievable. Middle weight. It's bombs away. the halfway point and both of these fighters know the round is still up for grabs can't land that jab perfectly matched skill for skill tap for tap now this fight will say you know what i'm just that notch above you so i have gotta respect both of them more than happy <laughs> unlucky to miss with that jab Counter punch. They missed with the jab. There's a counter shot. Jab does not score. A very competitive round with 10 seconds left. Perfect counter shot. Let's talk about Bo in that last round. Well, we're entering desperation mode. Let's we're hoping for an all-action slugfest. Let's see how they bounce back here in this round. That was a tough last round. Now you've got to make sure he doesn't put it on him. That's what he's going to try and do. So tie him up, hold him, lean on him. Don't get drawn into a fight. Not yet. Not until your senses have come back. You've heard the phrase, finding a second win. I don't think I need to tell you which one of these fighters needs to find it. Oh my goodness, and that little Yorkshire Terriers, they're never gonna give up. Couldn't land that jab. 
through the straight left, but it won't score. Nice exchange here from both men. Big shots from both these fighters. Got to be careful, though. Skill for skill, tap for tap. Just like a match made in heaven. Well, you know, in this division, you gotta have speed and you gotta have footwork, or you're gonna be a cooked goose. This can be so frustrating when you remember such a fast fighter, fast fighter that can throw three, four shot combinations before you've even let one off. That creates frustration, and that's when it gets hard. Not a lot of punch output. Thought there would be uh, some more action here. That uppercut. This round could go either way. Ten seconds to go. Let's talk about Bo in that last round. Well, he is in big trouble here. He may have been saved by the bell. The bell, sometimes it can be the sweetest sound. And there's the bell to start the round. After that last round, something has got to change. Now he knows he's been hurt. He's going to come out and put the pressure on. He's going to throw the kitchen sink at you. You've got to be ready for that. Don't fight fire with fire. Hold him off. Be smart because he's going to try and put you under pressure. He knows your legs have gone. He knows your head's not cleared. Be sharp. What do you think of what we've seen so far from these two boxers, Johnny? What can they change? Can they slow the pace down? Can they hope to, to, to knock them out early? What can they do? They've got to concentrate and relax. Because you know what you can do in the gym. You can do it in a fight. They've got to relax. Yeah. Right when you think the pace will slow down, it picks up. Both fighters landing in these exchanges. Judge is going to have a tough job. They're so close, so close. How can you separate them? It's going to be a hard night tonight for the judges. Correct me if I'm wrong, but when you're dealing with someone with so much speed, you've got to get your timing right. What you've got to do, Toddy, is anticipation. You've got to wait. You've got to, you just got to throw caution to the wind and just hope you're never going to know where the shots are coming from. You just got to put in a guess. Missed with that jab. Why weren't they more cautious? What a huge momentum swing that's going to be, Consider They ring the bell, and here we go. They really got banged up last round. What can they do here to change the momentum? What a heavy knockdown. How are they going to come back from that? They staggered back to the corner. They've got to freshen them up, alert them again, get them back on point again. This round, they've got to coast around. Don't get involved. Give yourself another three minutes to get your head clear. Another scoring shot there. They both want a knockout, you can tell. Well, with welterweights, they sometimes bring you the best of both worlds. Fast hands and power. When you have a fight that's got that great footwork and that great hand speed, it's so hard. It's an uphill battle. Some nice exchanges from both men in this round. The face is telling the story from that jab. Perfectly matched. Skill for skill. Tap for tap. Now this fight will say, you know what, I'm just that notch above you. 
And so I gotta respect both of them more than happy. Tried to score with a jab. Throws the jab, but does not. They're in trouble. Does he know he's hurting? Look at him. That back foot went. It completely shivered. Did you see that, Tom? And that was it. That was the... Talk about Bo in that last round. It's not over till it's over, but that... Not they ring the bell, and here we go. Got to get the momentum shift coming their way. What can they do here? That knockdown we just saw was a heavy knockdown. I'd be very, very surprised if he'll come out fresh as a daisy. That's not going to happen. He's got a hustle now. He's got to he's bluff them. These two featherweights are going to let their hands go. You know that. Oh my goodness, what pace, what pace. They're like, do you know what a Yorkshire Terrier is, Todd? That's, they're like little Yorkshire Terriers. Swing and a miss with that hook. Missing with that jab. One punch could change anything when these two step in the ring. Every time he throws a punch, a receipt is coming right back. Generally speaking, you don't watch heavyweights to see a boxing match. You want to see a fist fight. I've seen some fights with a granite. An upset of the year, perhaps, right before... This fighter continues to show how much heart he's got, but the corner may have to intervene here. What resilience to be down and to be back up again, to get yourself back into the fight again. Ten seconds to go, and what domination we've seen in this round. And he wasn't ready for that counter punch. Let's talk about Bo in that last round. Let's see how the game plan changes after... And there's the bell to start the round. His eyes look pretty clear here, Johnny. How do you think he's going to do after being knocked down in the last round? Todd, listen to me. If I knock somebody down like that that round, you know this round coming out? He's getting everything, everything full battle because I know his legs are gone. So this, you watch what's going to happen. If he doesn't, I'll be very, very surprised. Which fighter will say no moss? Not a lot of punch output. Thought there might be more action here. By the way, the connect percentages have to be off the charts. What do you think of this fight so far, Johnny? Now this is about desire. This is about character. This is about want. Both of these fighters have had their moments. Skill for skill, tap for tap. She's like a match made in heaven. Catch and shoot. Not a lot of punch output. Thought there might be more action here. Hook just can't find the target. The bravery being shown here is just incredible. That hook won't score. Very close round with 10 seconds to go. Talk about Bo in that last. 
last round. That was almost a 10-8 round. Complete dominance. Dominant. We're hoping for an all-action slugfest. That round was complete domination. Let's see if we can shake things up here in this round. Todd, my motto is, if it's not broken, why change it? An excellent last round. Everything works. Wait for the reaction. Until then, keep doing what you've just been doing because you've won that hands down. The work rate is down. The head isn't moving as well, Johnny. Fatigue is starting to set in. Now you've got two fighters that are absolutely shattered. What gets you through? Willpower. Calm, because if you panic, you get desperate. If you get desperate, you make mistakes. If you make mistakes, you get knocked out. Throws the jab, but does not score. Scores with the counter. A very competitive round here so far. Stumbling around. And that will do it. This fight is over. They have given up. Well, the corner has thrown in the towel, and that will do it. The fighter not happy, but those are the rules. They don't like that. Listen to them. Oh, listen to that. When he gets back to the gym, his team is going to give him hellfire. This is what you work on as a fighter. 